Yo, it is Guido coming at you with a Coffee Talk Supplemental on Monday afternoon. The last Waffentrager event is out. Played it a little bit this morning on stream. Have a little bit of advice. Unfortunately, I was going to show you a great video of one of the games, the last game that I played where I finally got the number one spot on the Harriers, but uh, the replays are not enabled on it. I... <laughs> Good. <laughs> Very upsetting. Anyway, how do you play it? Well, glad you asked. You can do this, and you can press right there. I believe you can also press on that lower right side. Bring you into the garage, looking like this, and you've got the Waffentrager and the T-55 Thunderbolt, which looks like this. The Waffentrager you need keys for. You will note I have 251. I'm a CC, so they gave me a bunch so I can play the Waffentrager. But you can earn those through missions. You can play the Thunderbolt at will. All right, so it's these guys against one Waffentrager. Seven of these, one Waffentrager. You will get two respawns, which means you have three tanks, essentially, to fight the Waffentrager with. The missions are showing up right here. You will see key to start. You can get one key by playing five and winning five random battles. Not, not Waffentrager battles, but random battles. You have to win and be in the top Ten. The wind's a little bit irritating, but there you go. So that's one way to get one key. Harrier's missions can get you keys. You can see that I've actually... This doesn't have a key, unfortunately. It also gives you boxes, but this is top five damage, pack strength. You do 5,000 overall. All right. You can also get boxes by being in the top five and winning, or the number one spot and winning. You can get a Waffentrager ticket. Looks like you can do that once, oh, so two of four. So I've got two of those. Be among top five players in the following parameter, damage caused. You've got to do that three times, and you'll get a ticket. You do it three times more. It looks like I've done, what's it telling me? Two, well, actually, that's two of four of here. So I'm done with this for the day. Looks like you can do that once a day. So three wins in the top five will get you a box and will get you a key. Quickly, the boxes will show up down here. You'll notice that I what we'll do at the end of this is we're going to open up all of my special boxes. Look at the reroll mechanic and some other things like that. But the boxes are down here much like Christmas. Harriers for the Harriers, engineers for the Waffentrager. All right. So there's the missions. There's also Waffentrager or engineer missions. They are right here. Win a battle, we'll get you a box. I've done that once. I don't know how many you can do. I'm assuming it's at will. That's what it seems to be, but there you have. And then destroy four vehicles. I've done that three times. I did that in the one Waffentrager game I played. So because each player has three lives, that's 21 vehicles you can destroy on the map. And I ended up getting, I don't know what, 10, 14 of them, I guess, total on that. They ran out of time on that, in that particular one. Three of those are done. Actually, I'm on my four, so that's that's bad math. That's 15, that's 19. So I left two of their lives alive on that particular. That all happened on one event. All right. How to play, at, that's the basics of it right there. You also have, if you click on this right here, you will have an overall, kind of a, whatever I'm trying to think of the word here, an, an overall, uh, yeah, yeah, how you're doing overall. <laughs> Hmm, that's CRS, can't remember stuff. Here are the Har the Engineer's Collection, the Harrier's Collection. The boxes will have some of these things in it, randomly. If you get the whole collection, it means you have 30 of these things, and that means you get the 3,000 bonds. So you can see if you get 10 of them, you get a ticket and a day of premium. If you get 20 of these things, you're going to get five of the cool credit personal reserves and three tickets. And at the very end of getting all 30, you will get 3,000 bonds. So that's kind of the the overarching you can get this through any playing either the Waffentrager or the T-55s or the Harriers engineer or Harriers doesn't matter but you have to get these decals and crew skins now the cool thing is these are actually crew skins you got Max Ralph Christian Victor and Oleg and then you've got stickers. So these are all stickers. They're all useful in the game. You can put your crew skins on. You can put your stickers on on the vehicles. There are some skins. I happen to have this one that I put on my T-77. We'll talk about that thing in just a minute. 
So that's actually pretty cool. All right, so that's the, the overall progress. That is the word I was looking for, the overall pro progress. So we go back to the garage. So you've got your missions. I'm going to have to close this. I'm going to have to close this. You've got your missions for the Harriers. You've got your missions for the Waffentrager. You've got your overall progress. You're going to get boxes, either engineers or Harriers. You can open them up down on the bottom right right there. Now let me give you a couple pieces of advice. This is where I wanted to show you some gameplay, but I can't because of the bloody... Uh, Replays are turned off, so from now on I'll play a few more and I'll see if I can't go ahead and remember to record on OBS while I'm playing the game. All right. Thunderbolt, while you are playing as the Harriers, here is my several tips and tricks. You're going to feel like you can't win against the Waffentrager. You can. All right. Like I said, I can't show you, but you're going to have his little buddies. They're going to spawn, and you need to kill all those little buddies at the spawn point. All right, so number one trick. At the very beginning, when it's the smaller German vehicles, Lukes and small small vehicles, because it'll go all the way up to Mals as they start to continually to respawn, get your ram on, okay? So go blazing in to that first group, auto-lock one of them and shoot them and ram another one. And then continue to back up and ram and auto-lock the other guy. You're just trying to great get as much damage. All right, break, break. Later on, about the mid-spawn, especially once you get up into... Tiger 2s, 75021s, Mouses, don't ram them anymore because you will lose. I tried it. I had my boost on. I rammed into a Tiger and I disappeared. All my hit points gone. So the, the ramming mechanics of how heavy your tank is matter. But when they're the lower ones, so I recommend that's going to get you some more damage. Let's just pause real quick. The reason you want the most damage is you would like to be in the top five on your team and in order to be number one, you got to have the most damage, basically. Okay? So you want to be cranking out damage. Guess what doesn't matter? Assist. One game, I spent a lot of time trying to track. I was, if I could go for damage in a track, I'd do it. A couple times, I just went for tracks. I had like 4,800 assists. It didn't seem to do a damn thing for me. All right? So don't worry about the assists. Just keep blasting these guys. The enemy tanks that are the bots, not the Waffentrager, which is controlled by a human, are not very smart. They're probably probably less smart of any of the bots they've made. They kind of sit there. They will spin. They will sometimes drive around a little, but they don't really go very far from the spawn point. I think that's by design because, tip number two, when you kill that group, the last one that dies, there's a power up there. So my suggestion is you get right next to the last guy so that either you get the kill, which is fine, or when he dies, you're sitting in that power up. It's, it's a very small area. And a lot of you guys are all going to be trying to get in there. So you want to get in there. I think you get some hit points. You get some power and some other things. Make sure, if you can, that you're saddled up to that last dude and you grab the power-up. So that's tip number two. So ram early, ram often. Don't ram the bigger ones. Stop ramming at that point. Third big tip. Because you're trying to gobble up as much damage as you can, and you're trying to kill the spawns of the bad little bad guys as fast as you can, we'll get to why in just a second, there is a mechanic that is the number three, and it's a turbo boost. And it recharges pretty quickly. Press that thing about as often as you can. Now, if you want to save it for a couple specific things here and there, use it wisely. But you really can't go wrong by pressing three every single time it's available because it's going to get you to that next little spawn point and start taking these guys out. All right, tip number four. Avoid the Waffentrager as much as possible early on. Don't Shoot him if you want to. He doesn't really have any way to regenerate. But don't get his attention. You are a two-shot to him. All right? You are a two-shot to him. Be very careful. Try to avoid him as much as possible while at the same time raging around and going for the spawn points. Spawn points will show up on the map. Once you kill one, a new one will show up. Be careful when you're looking at where the Waffentrager is or where he last was if he's gone dark. Try not to cross across his bow when you're running to the next point. But as soon as possible, as soon as the one you're working on dies, make a beeline or as close to a beeline as you can to the next one and start working them. All right. I said we talk about why. Because you need to kill all of those little groups, those little spawn points, and there'll be two on the board at any one time, basically, to get you more powerful so that when you start to take on the Waffentrager, you're actually going to do enough damage to matter. All right. So once those are all gone, everybody gangs up on the Waffentrager. I would, if you have enough guys, if you get a couple guys side scraping it, you're going to stop him from being able to move around very much, and he's going to have a hard time hitting you. 
All right, so if you can bother him, get up next to him and start just pumping the shots into him, that's one of the better ways to do it right there. All right, so ram early, ram often. Press three as much as you can. Get to the little guys as fast as you can. Take them down as fast as you can. Avoid the Waffentrager until the end. And I think if you do those things, you're going to be pretty well spot on and ready to start beating that guy. The cool thing about this particular event, and I generally avoid these events. I'd, I'd rather play randoms, to be quite honest. I generally avoid them. The cool thing, though, is that the Waffentrager is played by a human. Now, I'm only going to give a little bit of advice on the, on the Waffentrager and not get into that one too much. The only thing the Waffentrager needs to do is get out and start killing these guys. Do not camp. Do not sit around one of your little groups and try to protect them. Drive your Waffentrager, and, and you will move to the spawn points because that's where they're going, all right? That's that's like the, the moth to the flame. Once you don't have any shots, go to where the next spawn point is. And once you get there, start killing those guys, the Harriers who are around there. Be careful on your shooting. Make sure that you press C a lot to get reloaded. It does reload the four, four clip really fast, actually. So press C a lot. But if you get a wounded one, make sure he goes away because that's a life off the board. If you let him live, that's not a life off the board. and He can regenerate, continue to play. So focus down one guy at a time, get rid of him, move on to the next guy, and focus him down and get rid of him. And it, it is... To some extent, a little bit easy right now to kill the Waffentrager, but all the pieces of advice I gave you on the Thunderbolt, once I put that together after about five battles, and the all I noticed the teams were doing that, it was actually becoming difficult for the Waffentrager to win. So I'm not sure how it'll be towards the end of the event, but, but right now it looks like he's completely overpowered and he's, he is beastful, but you can beat it, I promise you. If you do some of those things that I just talked about right there, you will be able to beat the Waffentrager. All right, let's get into the boxes, guys, shall we? Let's see what happens with this. All right, I do have a little uh, spreadsheet right here where I'm going to keep track of this thing. So we're going to go ahead and open these bad boys. And the graphic is really slow. I was kind of hoping you could sort of get rid of it. All right. There is a T-77 that will be available for free. The way you're going to get that is the CCs, us, and some of the some of the employees are going to run a golden Waffentrager at certain times during the event. That schedule will be out in a little while. And th those will drop, depending on how you do, these special lockers. Otherwise, you've got to go to the store and buy them, and they're a dollar a piece, or you can get 10 for 9 The price point, and I, I talked about this on Coffee Talk, because I was a bit concerned about this whole mechanic, especially with the, the reopen bit, which we'll get to in just a minute. But... I looked at it and went, all right, this is all going to depend on the, on the price point. So for a dollar, you're getting automatically 100 gold and then some other goodie randomly and a chance at a tier 8 tank. If you have the tier 8 tank, you're going to get the gold. There you go. You can reroll. We'll look at that as we go. There is a T77 as one of the premiums that you can get in these crates. So later when you're fighting the golden Waffentrager and it drops the gold crates for you, then you're going to technically get a free chance at a T-77. Unfortunately, there's no way to do missions or anything other than fight the golden Waffentrager out there. So CCs will be playing that as much as possible when those events come up. All right. So that's that. Let's take a look and we're going to see what we get. We're going to open the first one. Like I said, the graphics are... Okay, well, that's actually faster. I got 100 gold. 150,000 silver. All right, so 100 G, 150K. That's how we'll do it. All right. Uh, let's just reopen. I'm going to show you the reopen mechanic. We'll just do it right off the bat. So it cost me 100 gold, so I've got 239. We'll reopen. Okay, it let, makes you check it. Let's make sure. Reopen. Yes, we'll do that. Okay, I actually got more silver out of it. Okay, and it did take that 100 gold back. So now I don't have the 100 gold, it looks like. But I got 250 silver. So you're going to have to take that as... And we'll go ahead and we're going to add a thing. How many times we reopened? Times one. All right, you know what? Because this is Wargaming's gold anyway from Christmas, we're going to reopen again. Let's see what happens here. Reopen for 250.
Oh, all I got was a day of premium. So that changes this to one day premium. I don't have this, I don't have the silver anymore. I believe it took it away. I've reopened two times and we're going to insert. And so far the cost has been 350 gold, I believe. So let's do it again. We're going to reopen for 500 gold. Okay, the 500 gold's gone. Woo! So I ended up with, <laughs> after 850 gold, <laughs> 850 gold, I ended up with a, a singular <laughs> personal reserve. All right. Now, I will tell you that I don't think a reopen any more than one time is a good idea. That's my personal opinion. I just wanted to see the mechanic work here. You know, we're just going to do it five times just, just for giggles on this first one. All right. So there's another 500 gold down the tube, potentially, depending on what we get. Okay. So now we are a demounting kit. I'm not even going to write it down because I don't know what we're going to get. We're, we're going to get what we get on this last one, but that was another 500. So that's what 1350 gold down. And then we're going to reopen the 500. Okay, so 1,850 gold on five reopenings to get five combat reserve. Five times five fifty percent. XP reserves. All right. So I'm down 1,850 gold and I got five personal reserves. Your, your mileage will vary guys. It will. I, I really do not recommend reopening other than maybe once. That's my, that's my opinion. How you got your gold, maybe you won it in tournaments, you don't care, you have so much stacked up, you just want to give it a shot. That It really is a, a personal decision. I'm going to touch on really quickly the gambling thing on this. You can really get yourself irritated if you do what I just did and it doesn't go well for you. So that's why I am I'm recommending only once at the most, if, if at all. The gambling thing is interesting. I think they're basically hanging their hat on that the first thing you buy is... is of value or is of a dollar value basically you get your hundred gold you get your one thing which is valued at whatever that they value these various things in game and real money and so if you simply pay a dollar you're getting you know air quotes what you paid for and I would agree with that that I would agree with that with them the reopen mechanic changes things a little bit you're gonna lose your your hundred gold at that point but you may get something else better all right I'm gonna leave it at that I'm gonna leave it at that all right I'm going to open up another one. Okay, so we got 100 gold and a day of premium. All right, so I need to actually make a minus on this because we got minus 100 or minus 1850. And we did that five times. Oh my gosh, now we're all. You know, you know how sometimes you. Is that going to work? Yeah, there we go. All right. So the second one, we ended up with the day of premium and a hundred gold. Okay. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Unfortunately, it does not look like they allow you to open multiple boxes. But because you can only open nine at a time, based on you can only buy nine at a time in the store, so we got a D mount and a hundred. All right, so I'm actually changing how I'm doing this here just a bit here. Minus 1,850. And get rid of that one. Okay, we open that one five times. All right, now we're on track. We'll claim that reward. Fourth, personal reserve, and 
XP. Need to need to make, call it one PR. Make it easier to type it all in one PR. Okay. So on number five, is that right? We'll claim reward. Wow, this is a slow process. But again, you can only buy nine at a time. So for anyone else, it's really not going to be this crazy. Got 100 gold, so he cranks it up there. I got a Lurva. All right, well, there you go. So this one's 150K silver. And with the low at, because I own one, 11,200 plus 100, 11,300. All right, so that times five attempt earlier is now basically washed off the board. So I have opened up, we're gonna definitely claim that one. No, oh, I got a slot too because I had the tank. Try it again, we got 100 this time and five reserves. Five times fifty XP PR. Okay. And I need to check the website because I'm I, I think you get ten, right? You get ten for nine dollars. Ten. So we're gonna open up ten as if I had spent the nine dollar package. Alright. Affirmative, we'll take that. Open up the next one. Demount kit and a hundred. So just one, just one demount kit. All right. Be the seventh one or eighth one, right? I don't know. How many have I done? I have no idea. All right, 150K, that was the eighth one. 100 gold, and we will claim that. Number nine. 100 gold and one by, one by, 50 XP PR. Okay, this looks to be number 10. Two hundred and fifty that time. Let's re-roll this. We're going to re-roll this last of the 10. So, Actually, you know what? This next 10, we're going to re-roll every one of them that isn't a premium. All right. So we'll just claim this reward. That's the first 10. So for the first 10, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, about... I kind of negated my loss. Somewhere around 11,000 or so gold. What, 750,000 silver, two D mount kits, a day of premium, 12 XP personal reserves. All right, so we're going to, on this second 10, we're going to re roll everything that is not a premium. Okay, so we'll reopen that. All right, we did not get it. So we got zero gold, and we ended up with a, oops, got zero gold, and we ended up with a one by 50 XP PR. All right, claim.
claim that. Open. Five eighty nine. Four eighty nine. Yep, lost the gold. And we got five D mount kits. Okay, so the second one was five by D mount kits. And zero gold. Okay, number 13. Or the third of our second 10. 100 gold in a day. So we're reopening it. So we've got zero gold and 150,000. I may have to change my mind here. I'm starting to think you don't re-roll anything. You just get what you get. This should be the fourth one. 100 gold and a PR. This one's not too uh, not too hard to decide to re-roll. How much worse can it get? There you go. Three days. But I lost a gold. I lost my hundred gold. Three days premium. Okay. Number five. Coming up. Hundred gold, two fifty. Reopen. Lost the gold. <laughs> Woo! Ouch. All right. One by 50 XPPR. Okay. Open Foot Locker. Number six. Okay, we're going to reopen because we didn't get a premium. We got a 1 by 50% credits. Credit personal reserve, CR personal reserve. We will claim that reward. Number seven. Okay, reopen. <laughs> okay, one by, uh, so that's a zero gold on that. Zero gold and one by D mount. Number eight. Training Book Italy. Oh my goodness, let's reopen that. That's Training Book Italy. Traded that in for zero gold, but three days premium. Okay. We're on number nine of the second ten. Reopen. So we got 150,000. 150,000 silver. Let's see what else. Oh, we trade that in for zero gold. And five by XP PR. 50 XP PR. I believe they're 50s. Let me double check here. Yep. <laughs> Woo! A second 10 was uh, not as good a deal, my friends. <laughs> Maybe you might not want to reopen anything. Or are we on 10? Yes, we're on We're on 10. Number 10 of the first, or the second 10. Yikes, we'll reopen that. Ooh. <laughs> One by 
50 XP PR. Oh boy, guys. All right, so this one we ended up with zero gold. Zero gold. We got one, two, three, four, six personal reserves, six days of premium, six demount kits. Looks like six is coming up sixes, and uh, 150,000 credits. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, six days of premium might come close. Plus, I don't know. Six days of premium might come close to ten bucks, but I don't think so. I think a week is what eight or nine or seven or something. I don't know. That's all right. So we're gonna claim that reward. All right. Let's just go with straight up opening on this one. This next ten. One hundred and a demount. I'm just going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the next ten on this video, and then I'll open up the rest and I'll come back and I'll give you the totals for each ten. Okay, that was a demount and a hundred gold. Five demounts and a hundred gold. Just so you know, I don't typically have a lot of luck with these kinds of things. I realize that's just kind of BS and people end up feeling like that, but uh, five times 50 XP PR. Actually, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm just going to do these because I think I'm going to open some more on the stream a little while later. One kit, one demount kit. gold and what is this one this is a person this is the big one personal training manual okay that should bring us to the sixth one of the third ten yep Gold. And now a training booklet, Poland. Apologies for the construction sounds in the background. It was exactly what they are. Uh, this is a slow process, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Yikes. All right. Oh my gosh, all right, 100. And a one by 50 XP CR, nice. That's, uh, that's great. Now, I know I sound very unappreciative as Wargaming gave me these boxes, so that's not really it. I'm just looking at it from the angle of I had just spent the money on this. I don't really recommend dropping $100 on this. And so far, from what I'm seeing here, at least from my experience right now, I would not. That's because I'm on my third 10, and I have come up with exactly one premium tank. Now it doesn't mean I can't hit five or six in the next couple, but 
I'm also not doing the reroll thing very much, so I don't know that the first the ten I did all rerolls on did not seem to be uh, really worth it. I I got a lot less than my money worth money's worth on that second ten that I rerolled once each time, 350k. Gold. And the last, the tenth one and the last, or the, the that last ten, whatever I'm trying to say. The third ten, all right? Yikes. All right, let me go do some addition. I'll be right back. Okay, for the first 30, the first 30, remember the second 10, I re-rolled every one of them and got zero gold out of it. And I got one premium out of 30 boxes. So I ended up with 10,750 gold, 1.35 million credits, 10 days of premium, 15 demount kits, 18 personal reserves at 50% XP. I didn't look at what the hour was, whether it's one or two. Two books, one of them the big ones, the 850, one of them a like Polish training pamphlet or whatever they call it. And then one personal reserve for credits plus 50%. And that is what I got. Sorry, my gold was slightly off. I actually got 11,250. I missed another 500 over there. So 11,250 gold, and then the rest of the things. That was the first 30 boxes that I did. So I need to do these in tens from now on. And I'll give you the total later on. We'll come back for the last 10. All right, I'm a big fat liar. I, <laughs> I'm going to save some of these for the stream later today as well, and maybe uh, another day or two. But anyway, the, le the next 10, the next 10 were 1,000 gold, because I didn't reload it. I didn't re re-roll anything three four fifty five six eight hundred and fifty thousand silver five demount kits three fifty percent xp pr one day of premium and a book a training book italy no premiums <laughs> yep there you go all right so bottom line guys like I said at the beginning, whether or not you can afford the boxes or want to try it, that is entirely up to you. I think for nine bucks to get ten boxes just for a shot at a premium, you're going to get your nine dollars worth. You're going to get your thousand gold and something akin to what I put in there. And one out of the four sets of ten that I did had a premium. Take that for what it's worth. I'll have the the whole line up for what I got later on. We might even re-roll a few along the way, but that should give you an initial look at that. As far as the the boxes go, I think they're a, a good deal. I think they're not a good deal if you're going to keep on re-rolling and spending money and trying to get a premium. Overall, I've got my money's worth. If I had bought $40, I would have got, I don't know, 14000 or so gold and a bunch of other stuff for 40 bucks there you go there you go all right guys enjoy the event there are some good things to get you can win as the thunderbolt enjoy playing as the waffen trucker i do have 100 keys to give out i will be doing that on stream very quickly and then that's going to have to be uh paid out by wargaming so unfortunately i can't just give you a code or anything like that but i will be giving out my 100 keys along the way so you guys can uh, play the Waffentrager as much as you like. That'll be cool. You will see me later on in the Golden Waffentrager during the weeks, next couple weeks. I'll try to give away as many of those as possible. I appreciate you guys coming by for today's Coffee Talk, and we will see you later. Good luck out there.